today, as we stand here, is day one of our Surrey Police Department. It was the moment he'd been waiting for. Surrey's triumphant mayor took to the podium on Thursday to deliver a promise he made to voters over a year ago. The time has arrived, and some would say it's been long overdue for Surrey to have local control and responsibility of its policing. Mayor McCallum couldn't wait to break the news, making the announcement before Public Safety Minister Mike Farnworth was able to do so in Victoria. I have granted the City of Surrey approval for the creation of a Municipal Police Board. Surrey Police will deliver strategic solutions to local challenges. With more From its initial unveiling over a year ago... <laughs> to protests at City Hall. The path to Surrey's own police force and the transition away from the RCMP has split the city in two, with many arguing there wasn't enough public consultation, especially when it came to how much it would cost taxpayers. Very concerned about the amount of budget. We don't know what we're getting and we don't know how much it's going to cost and we don't know that this is going to be a better thing for Surrey. Clearly it's not a good day for the residents of Surrey. The estimated cost of transitioning to the SPD is $19 million. Those opposed to the transition say it'll cost taxpayers more money for less officers. The Keep the RCMP campaign have over 40,000 signatures. They say the fight's not over. We deeply distrust Mayor McCallum. We will do everything we can to delay this. We are appalled at the provincial government's position. In a statement, Surrey RCMP's assistant commissioner reacted to Thursday's news, saying, given the nature of the work we do in the community, we are heavily invested in Surrey and its residents. This situation is discouraging for our members who enjoy policing this community and, in particular, for those who live in Surrey and raise their families here. Mayor McCallum is, however, adamant there's no turning back. The city's already hiring for a police board and are aiming to have the new force up and running by April the 1st, 2021. As for addressing those divisions in his city, the mayor says he's done his job. I think we won the election on, on our city police getting it, and today's a great thing. We just got it. In Vancouver, Tom Walsh, City News.